Okay, so we have now made it to the last chamber. And for this battle, I'm going to be using Leonard, Caesar, and Yuli Fort. So, Forts, obviously, Leonard and Caesar are going to be in my party because, of course, they both have Knight's Power. And I'm going to be making use of it. And where the heck did you come from? Are you kidding me? One last line of defense? No! Are you kidding? No way! I don't remember this at all! Well, damn it. I guess we're gonna have to be fighting these guys off the old-fashioned way because... Ah, oh, man. Crap! And I guess we're gonna have to do this old school because... Yeah, I don't want to be burning my knight's power right at the finish line. Not at the last line of defense, of which I had no idea that there was one. I don't remember there being one. Well, you talk about putting a monkey wrench into someone's plans. Okay, Yuli. Let's have you use your combos. Because I get a feeling that they will be a much help to us. Alright, back to Leonard. Alright, let's slowly but surely take these things down. Oh, wow. I, th I think the game is playing tricks with my mind. I have never remembered there being a last line of defense in this room. And the fact that it's two black knaves really makes this a problem. Ugh. One last line of defense. Unbelievable. Well, my game, my memory of this game is worse than I thought it was. And naturally I got cut off. Punishment for my lack of knowledge, I suppose. Gotta come this way. Alright, so I got this first black knave down past half. All we have to do is just stay on offense and we'll be fine. Because what choice do we have? Alright. At least they're not hurting me too much. I'm doing enough to hold my own. Wow, that, that really took me back. Uh, that really knocked me off my feet. Because I was... I did not remember that happening. And that was a bad time to miss. But thankfully we got it on its knees. Alright, one black knave on its knees. It's gone. Now for its counterpart. Ugh. go over to Yuli and give her a chance to use a combo again. Rapid fire, Yuli. Rapid fire. Alright, good. 280 points. Go down, you good for nothing. I'm gonna hurt you so bad for deceiving me. Nice evasion there, Yuli. Let's keep it up. Down it goes. Yeah, I am not gonna have my run thwarted by the likes of you. There is no way that that is happening. Slow you down again. Maybe.
This time we should have it. Now then, let's finish you off. And get rid of you once and for all. So that I don't have to keep worrying about freaks of nature like you anymore. I shall defeat you. There, you're gone. Alright. Back to the safe haven. Heal and repair all. Yeah, that was a good waste of five, six minutes. So I guess we might as well save again. Not that it's going to do us any good, because if we get game over and we just have to start over here, we have to fight those two black knaves over again regardless. Ugh. Boy. Yeah, the frustration is clearly obvious. Oh, this is nuts. Now then, let's try this again, shall we? There's only one thing I want to do when I go through this room. And that's have nothing happen. I want to walk through this room. I want to go down to the far right. I want to have no opposition standing in my way. I want to enjoy the beautiful scenery and an amazing waterfall on opposite sides and then I want to come over here run into this chamber deal with one last line of defense for the magi uh, these guys just don't never give up do they too bad for you I'm just too good You're gone. Now for your commanding officer. You're about to be dismissed by yours truly. There, you're gone. Okay, from this point there is no turning back. And we did have another gain from Eldor. Okay, let's might as well give him under strain and uncurse. Alright, so now that we have that out of the way, no further improvement is needed. Might as well have my avatar offer some... Oh, I guess... Okay, he can't do that. I... That's strange. Okay. Well, looks like we have taken this as far as we can go, so... Let's do it! Well, we have arrived at this big, wide-open area where, where a lot of battle is going to be happening. There's the airship. Yeah, those are quite some massive columns. Oh, here's the pirate. And opening the doors... Oh, the princess isn't looking good. What has he done? The princess! God, no. Does he have it? You better not have hurt her. Listen to me. I have finally succeeded. The Knight's Ark is mine. It is only natural, of course. After all, it was mine in the first place. Bastard. What have you done to Cisna? <laughs> I'm afraid she resisted a bit too much. But I have ways of controlling people, and she eventually sang her little spell. You've lost your mind. But quite tragically, I think she may have caused herself some damage when she tried to resist me. <laughs> then why are you letting her down so gently? If I refuse, why don't you come get her yourself? 
Fight me for your precious princess, night against night. Oh, Adelmaya, shining sovereign, supreme light of the ancient skies. Grant me your power, Verto. And with that... There is about to be an eclipse in our midst. At last, my lord is a knight. Nah, he's not just any knight. In fact, he's trying to be a Jedi. He's got Darth Maul's sword. Because he is the Sun King. The Sun King. Well, what goes up must come down. Right then, stay on your toes. Let's show him. All right. A first of three rounds. Wielder of the ancient sword. And I should have slowed him down before I started. Perhaps a bit too hasty on my part, but. I just want to do some pummeling. And since this is not a battle that is mandatory by story for use of the knight's power, that means that Leonard will be burning through his fuel. What's the matter, Grizel? Why aren't you attacking? Why don't you attack now? But in actuality, the Sun King in his, this round is actually quite easy to defeat. As you can see, I'm making him bleed rather quickly. Yeah, all he can do is throw fiery arcs at me, and it's not causing that much damage. Yeah. Your fire means nothing. Because I'm about to put out your fire. Oh, well, one more should do it. Here I come. Boom. There you go, Darth Maul. You're beaten. You are dethroned. Well, don't just look at me. Don't just stare at me. What is this? Is she trying to rebind? So it's your doing. Uh oh. My queen. Princess. Did she just have her heiress moment from Final Fantasy VII? Kara, brother, you must retreat. All my power is gone. I leave you to destroy them. Time for round two. Oh, Dinovis, deliverer of dark and dread, ruler of the ancient shadows, grant me your power. Berto! It's time once again for plumage. Well, at least we know she'll be safe and sound. She won't go out like Eris. Right. Alright. Over to Caesar. Grant me your power. Alright, Kara. You are now to pay for your deception. I shall do it by hitting you for 280 points a shot every time I score successfully on you and you don't block me.
Uh, take your pain. Yeah, Caesar was trying to befriend you, trying to make you see the error of your ways, and you let him down. Oh. And right now I'm missing my letting myself down because I can't score all of a sudden. What happened? There, that's more like it. Come on, go! And was I just doing a, a heal potion? That was not necessary. Oh, she's about halfway. Look. Oh, there we go. Now Caesar's on a roll. Go down, you freak. Be gone, you traitor. Oh, come on. Take this! Oh! She didn't take it! Take it now? Good. Oh! Have my back there, Leonard! Finish her! Oh, Leonard! Yuli did it. Yuli with a cheap shot! <laughs> yeah, one girl taking out the other. And now, Kara, you too have been beaten. So it's over then. I remember now, Kara. Once, long ago. Caesar. We were raised in Sinka Village. I remember holding your hand, running through meadows of flowers. They were happy times. And Seti. I remember our brother too. Or at least who was Seti. Kara. What Seti is trying to do isn't right. It's true. Our brother has been blinded. The knights have blinded him. Caesar. Leonard. We can help him. Together we can bring him back to his senses. You know we can. Yes. So you're sorry for what you've done? Lady Kara, will you betray our lord? <laughs> it's over, Shapur. I cannot follow your lord any longer. <laughs> oh, she just made the biggest mistake of her life. Betrayal cannot be forgiven. How can you, of all people, not understand what our master is trying to do? You pitiful fool. O oh, Dinavas, deliverer of dark and dread, ruler of the ancient shadows, Shapur. grant me your power. Yeah. Your power. I think it shall be mine now. But she's not dead yet! Verto! And the fact that she's not dead is going to make this a huge nightmare. Kara! Because what emerges from all this is something that's quite frankly is incredibly ominous. The final boss of the White Knight Chronicles 1 storyline. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the menace that is the Black Usurper. Now here's something I'm going to say right off the bat. If you were thinking of using anyone's knight's power, don't. Because it is the last thing you want to do. For one reason and one reason only. The Black Usurper has a skill called Zero Wave that will immediately negate all of the MP of either Leonard or Caesar when they're using their knight's power. 
which means that this is a fight that you do not want to use them in. So, my advice to you is just swing for the fences. Because quite frankly, if you use the Knight's power and the, the Black Usurper utilizes the Zero Wave, they'll have no MP and it'll just been a waste of your time. So just keep plugging away. Oh, its wounds are glowing. That's not good. Oh, I do feel a heal spell is coming. Oh, that's very, very bad. Thankfully, it did we weren't affected for all that long. Yeah, hang on for dear life, you guys. Well, okay, it hasn't used it yet. You know what? I'm going to wait until it uses Zero Wave, and then I'll use the Knight's Power. But I want to wait until it's used. Come on, you got to be weak to something. Let's slow him down again. Oh. Oh. It's time to defend again. Brace yourselves, guys. Come on, Yuli, where are you? I am shocked that the what that the zero wave has not been used yet. Very shocked. You know what? Let's go for it. I am not gonna wait for an invitation. You're going to be that much of a jerk about it. Then I'll still simply up my game. Now, it should not be taking that long. At all. I'm going to make you bleed for making me wait that long. I don't get it. The last time he couldn't wait to use the Zero Wave on me. Now he's not even using it at all. What's this all about? What's taking you so long? Oh, don't you block me. Alright, fine. Wow, why did he not use the Zero Wave? Well, anyway, he's going into his second form now. And just repeat the process. But why has he not used the Zero Wave? I don't get it. Yeah, all eyes on me. Ha, you missed. Now make me wait all that time, you'll pay for that.
Oh, now he uses zero wave. Oh, you piece of crap. Oh, sure, then he uses zero wave. What was that all about? Alright. Alright, now it's C Caesar's turn, I guess, or... Alright, now. Yeah, make me wait all that time for you to utilize the zero wave. Ugh. Right over here, you freak of nature. I'm looking at you. Gotta try harder. Oh, Judgment Bolt. Oh, that didn't seem to do too much. Yeah, I've never seen the... the Black U Super be so jerkish when it comes to using Zero Wave. Oh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. And I'll tell you why. Because you made me suffer in ways that you were not supposed to have. Okay, now he's gonna use the zero wave again. Yeah, before you couldn't wait to use it, now... Ugh. Oh, he has only the... Okay. Well, if I get myself into a situation where White Knight can be used again, might as well go for it. Yeah, because I'm going to finish you off with it. Make me wait forever to see you use the Zero Wave and negate the Knight's power. Such ridiculousness will be consequential. And it's you who will be suffering the consequences. If I can score. There it is. Go down, Black Usurper. You are defeated. Now he's cracking up. Drop your sword and take your plumage elsewhere. Now that they've been separated. <laughs> Kara! Hang in there! Kara! Caesar. Yep, last rites. That's you. Caesar, you... You were my friend, weren't you? He wasn't just your friend, he was your brother. No. We can... We can make this all right again. Kara! No. I was wrong about too many things. I messed up, but I hope you still think of me as a friend. Kara, <sighs> more than that, don't you know, to me, you're so much more. Thank you. And she cries her last tears, and Kara is now gone. And if that weren't bad enough... Caesar... It's time. 
Yeah, we gotta get out of here. This place is crumbling down. We know. Come on. Quickly. Caesar, run faster. So now, where's the Princess Sisna? What is she doing? It's all right. I'm yeah, this is what she's doing. Yeah, she's in full control now of her abilities. Yeah, who's ready for a little altitude? I know I am. Beautiful, isn't it? So, yeah, it's, it moves just like a bird does. Oh. Leonard, what happened to you? Yeah, I'm guessing that will be a result of the zero wave. But yeah, it's time for us to make a break for it. The walls and the columns and everything comes tumbling down. Yeah, sorry there are beautiful faces of female statues, but you're also being destroyed. Um, and why is the ship plummeting? Yeah, like, we need to get out of here now. There we go. And the bird takes flight. It's finally left its nest. So that's how it starts then. The greatest war of them all. These knights. Why were they ever made? For your Shreni to defeat a Thwan, of course. And the hard part is that this is only the beginning. From age to age the souls wandered, and not even the passing millennia could quiet their ancient sentiments. But there was another soul, one that was more powerful, more wicked than all the rest, who waited patiently for the time of the Great Awakening, its ancient pulse beating in the black of darkness. So, it's time to take stock of everything that has happened. We have rescued P Princess Cisna, but not before Grizel got his hands on his own knight's power. And Kara has now lost hers to the pirate Shapur, and she is no longer with us because she's dead. And so, that's pretty much going to wrap up the White Knight Chronicles 1 storyline. But of course, the princess has to make her homecoming, and this is how it happens. So at this point, there's not much in terms of words as far as what describes the return of Princess Cisna. There is some scene here that I'll show off, but as far as today is concerned, this day is pretty much over for me. So 
I'm going to take this opportunity to thank everyone for watching the White Knight Chronicles 1 part of the storyline. And tomorrow I'll be joining you all for the start of the White Knight Chronicles 2 storyline. So as I let Princess Cisna dress her courts, I will thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the start of the White Knight Chronicles 2 storyline. So, until next time everyone, take care, and I'll see you soon. Comrades, the time has come to save this beautiful land and free it from the hands of a corrupt and dying monarchy. I will use this power the gods gave me to fight. You have my oath. Now, together, we shall take the first step toward rebuilding the home our souls yearn for. Very soon we will have our empire. Acquisition of the night seems to have boosted your soldiers' spirits. <laughs> Do you think so? I see only fear and awe in their eyes. But that will suffice for now. Once we have realized our dream, then true peace will come to us in turn. Isn't that right, High Priest Ladon? <laughs> this day marks a new beginning for us! Today! Ishrenia rises from the pages of history to live again!
Here. 